Frisco, will you behave? There are customers out there going crazy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going crazy in the kitchen. You're not supposed to even be back here. Who made up that rule? I did. Stop it! You know, you didn't say stop it last night. Oh, well, that was different. You're telling me. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, I see you two are at it again. At what? Mm. You really want me to tell you? No, no, he does not. He was going to leave and uh, I was going to uh, finish my work. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm very glad to hear it. You know, I don't want the whole joint to fall apart just because Ruby ain't here, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you planning on spending the whole day here? Oh, I don't know. I just might. Mm -hmm. When I watch you pour coffee, it really turns me on. Don't you have a soda tape? Yeah, we're gonna tape it later. They've changed the whole schedule around because of this trial. Got an entire crew down there, so... Derek's even going. Well, why aren't you? Well, I got the show to do. I wouldn't go anyway. I don't want to see Jenny go through that. I'm This is Kelly's diner. Yeah, this is Trixie. Hmm? Oh, yeah, sure. Hold on a second. Uh, telephone for you, lover. Me? Uh-huh. Lover. Lover. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jim. Mm -hmm. Now? Well, um, I'm d a little busy. Um, all right. Yeah. Be down as soon as I can. Ha-ha, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <clears throat> well, I should be glad that that was the station manager, not some panting female, huh? Mm, you should indeed. Um, they changed the schedule around again. They need me, so I gotta go. Oh, no, I don't suppose I should tell you I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. Bye. Bye. Uh, honey. I could use some forks. Forks, I'll get them from the kitchen. Atta girl. <laughs> Hi, how are you? You know, that Korean freighter and uh, Flip 16 is offloading a ton of cargo. I don't know what we're going to do with it all. Yeah, find room. Just remember that the Sea Bay area and the surrounding area is off limits. That's reserved for special shipments, right? Sean, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Felicia, this is a surprise. I thought you had a class on Friday morning. Well, I normally do, but today the professor has a flu. Oh. Did you check into that penthouse we talked about? Yeah, I bought it. You bought it? <laughs> yes. That's wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> Great. Well, I, I, I can't move in there for a few days, but I think I'm going to be very comfortable with oh, it. <laughs> I'd really like to see it sometime. Well, then you shall. What about today? I have noon. Oh, fine. I won't be working. Well, I was going to stop by there anyway. Uh, all right, I'll meet you there at 12. Oh, good. Have you been waited on yet? No, not yet. Uh, two coffees. Two coffees. Okay, coming up. Man, that is one stacked chick. <laughs> just watch your mouth. Yeah, she's just trying to pay her a compliment, all right? Don, I'm sorry. Well, I've, I've known her for a long time. She's a nice kid. I, I guess I just think of her as, well, like a daughter. There's a pleasant view from this window here. Pleasant? Mm hmm It's magnificent. <laughs> and look at the size of this place, this, the whole layout. Sean, this is just perfect for you. <laughs> you said it might be, yeah. No, oh, I wish Frisco could see it. You know, we're living together now. Maybe one of these days we can have a place of our own just like this. Obviously, I have to do a great deal of uh, redecorating. Oh, yes, obviously. Yeah, I was thinking of bringing some of the pieces up from the villa in Mexico. Oh, yeah, then you can decorate around that. I can see it. You can? Mm-hmm. When you get all your pieces, could I help you put them all together? I'll become my decorator? Well, if you like a woman's touch. Yeah, I, uh, I'd, I'd like that, Felicia. Sean, I feel really selfish asking this, but I hope you're going to bring your books up on the Aztec and the Mayan culture. Yes, I, uh, will. I'd really like to study them here. I guess that'd be all right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Oh, uh, forgive my enthusiasm. Felicia. Um, yeah. I love your enthusiasm. Do you? Yes. I have to get back to work. Oh, of course. Looks like Bobby's all ready to go, too, huh? Yeah, so she said, uh, but not today, of course. She's at, uh, at the trial, Ginny Blake's trial. That's right. Come on, let's, uh, let's get out of here, huh? We can make it really light with some brown trim yeah. and maybe some cacti. Hi, babe. <clears throat> Where have you been? Don't we say hello anymore? Hello. Where have you been? I have some really wonderful news. I just came from seeing Sean's new penthouse. Oh, that's thrilling. Yes, it was thrilling, and it was so beautiful. Mm. And guess what? Mm. He wants me to help him decorate. Oh, fine. Well, if I would have known you had such an urge to redecorate, what about my place? What about it? Well, I mean, you know, Tony and Josh are gone. It's ours, right? I should fix it up. Really? You want me to do that? I'd really love to. Yeah, I mean, the more you make it ours, the better. And just what, um... What, what did you have in mind? Oh, just about everything. Well, that sounds a little expensive. Well, you said make it ours. Well, I mean, as opposed to yours, mine, Josh's, and, and Tony's. I mean, it doesn't sound that complicated to me, really. I mean, just having your clothes laying around, and, hell, we're halfway there. And that's not decorating, Frisco. Yeah. You know, on second thought, maybe you really ought to stick to your studies. You know what they say, uh, creative work comes out of the poor surroundings. Less is more. Well, yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's be creative. Let's prove that the professionals really don't know what they're doing, okay? Okay, I started this, didn't I? Yes, you did. Oh, well, just don't overdo it, okay? Okay. Okay. And, of course, we'll agree on everything. All right. You know, but there is one thing I'd like to do right away. What? I would like to take the second bedroom and make it into a personal study of my own. Oh, honey, I've been looking forward to having that second bedroom all to myself to work on my music and the script for the syndicated show, huh? -uh. No, but I need it. I need it for my studies. It's very important to me. Well, are you saying that my work isn't important? I, I need that privacy, Felicia. So do I. Mm-hmm. Well, you can go to the college anytime you want, the library. Well, what about after hours? Well, read in bed, you know? Be creative, accommodate yourself, come on. Fine. Okay? Fine. Good. I'll just do that. Mm-hmm. Sean has agreed to let me come over and study any time I want. That's ridiculous. Well, what's ridiculous about You know about something it? else that is ridiculous? The way you fawn over Donnelly. I do not fawn. Fun. Oh, yes, you do. You're like, a, you're like a starving little puppy. And don't think that he doesn't love it, because he does. Felicia, the guy has got a power complex. What? Yeah, that's right. He gets his kicks out of running other people's lives, especially yours. And you know something else? You eat it right up. Are you saying I'm a child to him? Exactly. You act just like a child around him. He's like, he's like he's feeding candy to a baby, and you just gobble right up. Oh, this is insulting. I'm not going to listen to any more of this. Fine, I'm not going to say another word. i got to get going. I have a taping. I'll see you later. Trouble in paradise. Sometimes that guy can be so irrational. <laughs> when he's young and in love, that's what makes him irrational. Sometimes makes him even worse. But he is so petty. You know what he said to me? He's got it in that pea brain of his that... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Ruby. Forgive me. Forgive you? What did you do? I shouldn't go on like this. I know that you're probably worried about Bobby. Oh, well. She'll be okay as soon as this damn trial's over. <laughs> well, I see you come, uh... Bearing gifts? Yeah, I guess you can say that. I wonder if it's for anybody I know. Probably. <laughs> Why don't you go and give it to her? Well, I don't know. Talk to me. Do it. <laughs> Come on. Here. What is it? 
something I thought you might be able to use, no big deal. I might as well open it. All right. Put on your desk next to your bed. First phase of uh, redecorating. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Oh. You know, it could actually be kind of fun. I mean, uh, <clears throat> working next to each other, one room apart. What? Only what? Won't you make a lot of noise when you're composing your music? Oh, Felicia, it's rock and roll. I mean, come on. Oh, that's on. all right. That's okay. We'll work it out. I, mean, I could get out earplugs. <laughs> that's my kind of woman. Was there ever any other kind of woman? No. Not that I ever lived with. Can't you tell? Oh, Cody, I've never lived with a man before. Well, it'll be a first step for both of us. A very big step. Nobody can ever accuse us of rushing into things. I'm gl glad we waited till now. It feels right. It is right, baby. It is. You know, they used to call this living in sin. Does it bother you? Would I do it if it did? Okay, your turn to ask me a stupid question. Okay. Okay. Would you mind if I gave you a great big juicy kiss in the middle of Kelly's diner? That is a stupid question. <clears throat> Did you ever think about turning this place into a singles bar room? What? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> 